everybody. Welcome to yet another podcast of mine. This is episode number two. So in episode number one, we've talked about a little bit about the education system and some of the things that I've already tweeted about. And right now, in episode number two, we're going to read some notes again and I'm going to try and reflect on them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's read some of it. And here we go. I cannot boast that I waste nothing, but I can at least tell you what I'm wasting and the cause and the matter of that loss. I can give you the reasons why I am a poor man. So basically, that is just this person talking about how self-aware he is in terms of, yes, I'm poor, but I can tell you why I'm poor. This is the list of the reasons and why I am poor. These are the things that happened on why I am poor. So in a way, it is this self awareness and probably you could also see something that is condescending in a way that yes he is poor he failed on that regard in terms of the money making aspect his difference is that some people they're poor but they don't know why they're poor some people they're a failure but they don't know why they're failures some people wasted their time but they don't know why they wasted their time and for this person he's boasting that yes I've wasted my time but I can exactly tell you where I wasted my time in. Next, there's no such thing as a rags to rich story. Maybe financially in terms of you having zero dollars all the way to you having a million dollars because everything has always been a part of you from the beginning. It has been part of your DNA from the beginning. So basically what this person is trying to tell us is that no one really starts from zero. Everyone starts from somewhere even though you feel like you're starting from zero. Each and every one of us has this unique capability, unique interests, and unique curiosity to be able to be unique enough to succeed in life. There are differences in the things that we are doing in the terms that we excel at that could either be also an advantage for other people but to other people it could be that it's their disadvantage and so for him it's not that we are starting from zero no we are starting with our dna and that dna is very different from what other people's dna are that dna is something that is innate within you it is something that to if you are someone who believes in this probably it is something that you are put in this world to do it is probably something that is your destiny to be able to fulfill and act out all right so let's read another one everything in this life has a cause socialization overall is a complete waste of time human beings are not really social it's that they want to keep up with the status quo everyone is wasting their life the only thing that matters is on how much Social media is one of the biggest of them all. Who cares if you've done 20 things today? Most of them are unimportant anyways. Productivity is busy work. So let's try to unpack everything that's in there because it's a lot. So number one, socialization overall is a complete waste of time. For me, socialization is one of life's greatest gifts. However, not every time I think you should socialize and I think we have been put into a lot of groups and social groups and situations wherein we are forced to socialize. And that is why also I hate the idea of networking. A lot of people pride themselves on being a great networker. But for me, I don't like the idea of networking because the idea of networking is I want to be friends with you because someday you'd be able to give me a favor and probably I'll also give you a favor, but you know, it's like a quid pro quo kind of a relationship. It becomes easily a transactional relationship, which I do not like. For me, my reasoning and my whole philosophy behind it is that take a look at each and every friend that you have right now and try to reflect back on how you got started in terms of being friends. And if my philosophy and my theory is correct, None of them, you actually work hard towards becoming your friend. None of them, you have actually put in the effort to actually for them to be your friend. It all revolves around a natural process of you liking this other person and that other person also liking you. I don't recall 
having a friend that I said to myself, I want to introduce myself to this person because I want him to be my friend or I want her to be my friend. That never happened. It always seems like to be a natural process where I don't even have to think about it. It just kind of clicks. So that's why I also don't like the idea of networking because it is based on this force narrative of which you have to actually work hard for them to like you back and to see you back as a friend. I don't think friendship starts out that way. Next, human beings are not really social. It's that they want to keep up with the status quo. Everyone is wasting their life. The only thing that matters is on how much. Social media is one of the biggest of them all. So we waste time. Regardless of whether you are the greatest productivity guru out there, you still will waste time. And probably the reason for this is no matter how strict you are in terms of your schedule, in terms of your time, you will always find a way to waste time. And the reason for that is because one, when you're doing something, you cannot be fully cognizant and aware that that something is actually a waste of time. Most of the things when we look back, when we are doing them, they didn't seem like a waste of time. Only in retrospect do we able to see on how wasteful we were in terms of spending our time in those kinds of things. And so that is why, regardless of whether you are very strict in terms of how you schedule your life, you will always find a way to waste time. A lot of people that pride themselves in terms of their productivity forget the fact that it's not about how much and how many things you have done or accomplished today. No, it's not about that. It's not about accomplishing most in terms of a day. It's not about that. The number itself has nothing to do with productivity. It's all about impact. It's all about value. It serves about, it's all about the things that you've actually done that actually contributed to where you want to go. Yes, you've done 20 things a day. You've accomplished 20 tasks a day. So what? If they're not actually contributing to where you want to go, then that 20 things is actually not an accomplishment. You don't become productive by just checking off things off a list. You don't become productive by just doing things day in and day out and thinking that you're going to get somewhere. No. Accomplishing things is important. But what matters more is thinking about what is it exactly that you're accomplishing? What is it exactly that you are finishing? That matters more than the number of the things that you're accomplishing in a day. So next one, this is from September 22, 2022. There is no need to reminisce about your past and the only moment that you are not in the present then you are wasting it. Think about it. The past is already gone. It's there. It's only in our memories and the memories of some people. It could have been recorded to some form, maybe through written accounts, maybe through video, maybe through audio, but it's gone. It's there. It's doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore. The future is also the same thing because no matter how clear you see the future, no matter how true it is already for you, it doesn't exist yet or at least it doesn't exist the way that you imagine it to be. It's still a figment of your imagination. Only time that matters is right now, the present moment, because this is actually something that you have. You don't have the past, you don't have the future, this is what you have. So yeah, I guess that's episode number two of my podcast, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.